retailer. Well, here's the thing about going after hackers, though. Sometimes that involves kind of hacking you. And if you don't like it, you're going to have to deal with it. The Justice Department telling tech companies like Apple and Google to give the government access to folks' emails. That would be your emails and your photos, too. Well, to her point, tech companies are strongly against this. Republican Congressman Steve Chabot is right along with them. But, Congressman, the more we see incidents like the ones that Megan alluded to, the more uh, it's sort of galvanizing this effort to go after these companies and say, all right, uh, you're going to have to start letting us in and, and letting us sneak around. What do you say to that? Well, there has to be a balance. There's no question about that. We have to balance our right to privacy and our need for security. We definitely want to fight against ISIS or any of the, uh, these other groups that have uh, declared that they want to kill Americans here or other places around the world. That being said, the American uh, people, our citizens, have a right uh, to privacy. Um, and, and relative to that right, um, the, uh, the Googles, the, uh, uh, the Apples, the Ebays, uh, these folks have better and better encryption technologies that prevent uh, our accounts from being hacked into uh, by anybody. Well, apparently uh, the not, government, not, not enough, right, Congressman? The yeah, fear is well, that even right, with not, these encryption technologies, someone's getting through. So where do you and draw that to, line? Where, how do you balance it? They're trying to deal with that now. Uh, the Obama administration doesn't necessarily like that. They think that the government should have a backdoor way of getting into the accounts uh, the private accounts of Americans, uh, whether they're on their cell phones or some sort of other communications. So you're arguing, sir, the that if you give them, I'm that. sorry, you're arguing that you give them an inch, they'll take a mile, and you're concerned about that. But do you worry that the next terrorist incident, if this uh, last guess was right, where obviously these hackers are sophisticated enough to to even get kicked out of the system, a social site, and get back on in another alias or identity? How do we deal with that? How do we, the only way you can do it is to get into these sites, right? We, we certainly have to make sure that we're protecting uh, the security of the American people. The problem is uh, when you allow the government uh, to have a so-called backdoor to go beyond the encryption, to go right into our cell phones and know what we're up to, uh, not only is it our government that can do that, but you also are opening the door for other nefarious actors um, like China, like Russia, um, like other hackers. So you're allowing those folks potentially to get in there just like the government is. Um, and even if they weren't, many people think that one of, our, one of our most important constitutional rights as Americans is our right to privacy, the right to make sure that the government isn't following you around everywhere you go and knowing everything that you're up to. There's no reason for the American government uh, to, to basically have the attitude uh, that all Americans are potential terrorists. Very well put, Congressman. Very good having you.